Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show and explain you how you can add a custom a additional field to your SAP query. And to do this, first of all, you have to open up your info set being or that is used in your SAP query, so the transaction code SQ02. There you have to select your info set and then you go into the change mode. And then here you have to open up the extras. So click on this extras button and then you have to click on this create button. And in here, you have the ability to add additional information, so like additional table, an additional field, what we're going to do, an additional structure and a code itself. So in our case, we would like to add an additional field and we just name it like test, for example. Then we continue and here right now you have the ability to enter specific information. So for example, the long text just for demo purposes should be uh, yeah, just test. The header should be also just test. And within here, the format, you can enter a type, length, output length, decimals, it's a number, if it's a number, a like reference, and so on. And in our case, we would like to create a character. So we type in C. The output length should just be six. The length should just be six and the output length should, al should also be six and we keep the rest as they are and then we continue and now we have created our additional field that we can use in the field group and within SAP query and if you want to you can also add a code for the addition so with this button you can add a code and for example, we would like to set this value. So we set test equal to ERP up, for example, and then we save. You can do a complex and custom logic based on ABAP. Uh, what you like to and then in the field groups, um, we would like to add our additional fields. So we see that we are currently using those three fields. So we drag and drop it to our field group. So this is now currently being used. And then we would like to yeah, uh, show it at the end um, or uh, move it to the end in the SAP query. You can set up the order and the sequence, uh, but now it's tidied up. Then we save it and then we generate the, the info set and then all is fine. And now we move over to the SAP query and then we go into the change mode and in the basic list there we would like to add our our custom field, our additional field, so we hit the list column and basically then we save and here right now you can test this without any variant right now and then here we can see our additional field with the pre-filled value ERP up and yeah that's kind of easy and quickly how you can add a custom field Hit the like button, add a comment if you have any questions left and do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you very much and then see you in the next video.